In a distressing turn of events, families escaping violence and turmoil in Sudan are arriving in remote areas of northern southeast Sudan. These displaced individuals are seeking refuge in a region where humanitarian organizations are grappling with the immense challenge of, of providing emergency assistance. Among those affected is Umjuma Achol Mut, a 29-year-old woman who fled her home in Bentu, South Sudan, back in 2016. Scared by the brutal violence that forced her to escape, she initially sought refuge in a camp in Ethiopia's Gambela region, but later moved to Sudan in the hope of rebuilding her life. Unfortunately, when conflict erupted in Sudan in April, she and her family had to make a last journey across the border into South Sudan. Crisis is further exacerbated by the rainy season and a severe lack of donor fund, which is impending efforts to relocate people away from the border. This has worsened the already dire humanitarian situation in the overcrowded transit center located in the border town of Lenk. Since the eruption of the conflict in Sudan in April, an estimated of 6 million people have been displaced from their homes in just six months. With no resolution to the ongoing violence in sight, numerous individuals seeking safety are continuing to power into neighboring countries, including the Central African Republic, Chad, Egypt, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. Others have resorted to relocating within Sudan itself. The influx of South Sudanese returnees and refugees from Sudan is putting immense strain on the limited resources of a country that is still recovering from a prolonged civil war and the devastating consequences of climate change and agencies are grappling with a multitude of challenges, including inadequate funding, poor access to affected regions, and inadequate infrastructure. To address this situation, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and its partners have established a presence at border crossing points in South Sudan. Their primary mission is to monitor and provide assistance to new arrivals who are primarily South Sudanese refugees returning to their home country. In partnership with other organizations, transit centers have been set up where new arrivals receive essential supplies such as food, water and communal shelter. These centers also serve as a staging point to facilitate onward transportation to their desired destinations or home areas. United Nations High Commission for Refugees is additionally assisting families in reuniting with their relatives inside South Sudan.